So we've had some b big news here on the Isle of Man uh, about financial companies that have got together. And uh, Simon's going to talk to us here. Uh, should be on the Isle of Man, Simon, but I think you got stuck in Cheshire, is it, at the minute still? Yes, um, due to the recent pandemic, um, I'm locked down, or relatively locked down in Cheshire, but not too far away. OK, now, let me get this right. IFGL, which comprises here in the Isle of Man, people know as RL360. And you've now got um, hold of uh, Friends Provident International, right? It's sort of, you've taken them over. Now, I know that's very basic, and I want you to tell us more about it, because it's not as simple as that. And it, it's, a, it's quite a big thing that's happened here, isn't it? Yeah, well, we're now a group um, of over 700 staff. Um, we administer over 17 billion in assets in, in sterling and probably about 230,000 customers. So, yeah, quite a big thing and very positive for the Isle of Man. Normally, when we hear about these sort of things, uh, it's, it's a takeover, not a merger acquisition. How do you describe it, first of all? Which one is it? It's, it's very simple. It's an acquisition. OK. So when this happens, normally you know, you're swallowing up somebody else and then there's contraction because there's too many staff. Is that the case here? Well, let me lay, lay it out in a few little points to help. There's over 500 people on the Isle of Man now working for the combined group. So that's a lot of people. There are no changes today. Um, but as always, when you bring the two big entities like these companies together, there will be some duplication of roles. And eventually, there may be one or two redundancies. We have done this before. Um, it's not new to us. And that's what we find is natural staff turnover takes count of a lot of those issues, so joiners and leavers. But actually, we're also in a position where we may actually need to recruit as well for specific roles on the island. So we don't know today. Um, we will go through a process of understanding what's required and then deal with it professionally and in a, a, a standard manner. How is the finance sector? I mean, it's contracting or is it more being, you know, being getting together to make a better position for the company to be stronger? How do you see it? Well, what, we, what we're seeing out there is quite a lot of consolidation. Um, we're seeing a lot of companies getting um, rid, of, rid of their, what I call, international arm. And IFGL and a few others are in a position to look for suitable and strategic acquisitions. So we see a market that's actually buoyant, but it moves in terms of how providers are operating. We can see the effects of things like COVID. We can see the effects of economic upturn and downturn. And we, we move our business accordingly, international finance markets. And the Isle of Man, in general, are we still in a good position? Because obviously we had a very strong situation a long time ago. And it seems to be eroded all the time, the UK changing laws, whatever, you know, tax issues. How do you see it for us? Well, the Isle of Man is in a unique position. It's actually a jurisdiction that's well governed actually is very influential in the financial services market and has a place particularly in the world global position. We have many brokers that want to deal with the Isle of Man and the reason for that is the solid jurisdiction. And as you mentioned earlier, the international arms of so many companies seem to have disappeared. Was that just from the Isle of Man or is that a global change of direction? It's a global change and it's an evolving picture. Um, it often runs in cycles where people acquire other entities and then want to divest of certain assets or have a strategic aim to grow bigger. And it does so by spreading its wings into different markets. We're very clear. We want to grow organically. In other words, promoting our products more and more, but also through further acquisitions. So this won't be the last of our acquisitions, but we might take a while to actually make sure we embed Friends Provident into the group properly. And for people working in these two companies, uh, by Sanzi overall, I mean, obviously some duplication well, is ne inevitable, but overall it's a, it's a good news story? Well, it's a great news story. Um, today in the Commis Hotel, we've held three presentations to all the staff based on the island. We've live streamed it to the staff in Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, the UAE, um, in Montevideo. So we've been doing our best to be open and communicate. And I think it's a great future for the group now.